Today I want to talk about why modern relationships fail. What are the reasons why modern marriages end in divorce? Now there's a lot of uh, hypothetical conclusions over the internet. I've seen a lot of content creators say it's because men are still stuck in the 50s and they still want women to work and, and be slaves like they were in the 50s, so on and so forth. There's other people saying that it's because of feminism, that because women want more and so on and so forth, that's the reason why. Here's my two pennies worth on the subject of why I believe modern relationships are falling apart. First, let me say that in the 40s, 50s and 60s, marriages were different than what they are today. For example, in the 40s, 50s, 60s, or earlier than that, or 70s even, men and women had what we call functional roles. So women, women's role would have been to raise the children, uh, be a housewife, and the man's role was to go out to work, earn the money, invent things, do great things, follow pursuits of greatness, have visions of greatness and pursue those and see them come through, i.e. Uh, men would invent things, and men would uh, build new things, and that would be their sort of one of their life's uh, passions, would be to be great in doing one of those things. Now, men haven't changed in, in that respect. We as men, we want to make a mark on the world. We want to do something, like Edison invented the light bulb, other people invented things. We want to invent things, we want to write, we want to do things and follow our passions. The problem is, but if you want to do those things and also marry a modern woman, you may not be able to carry, you may have to make a choice. Now, I'm not, I'm not against women in the fact that women want more out of relationships. I don't think it was good, necessarily, all the time, that women were sort of left holding the baby uh, uh, and not be, uh, while well, their husband or whatever went into the den and created what he wanted to create. To some degrees, men had their greatness and women were sort of in the background or in the shadow. And I can understand why the modern women don't want that. I understand it. But may, we as men still want to do things and become, do, do great things like we may want to write a book or build our own business empire or we may want to um, invent something, do something other great. But the thing is, if you want to do those things, you have a vision to do those things, and you also want to get married and have children, you may have a different, depending on who you marry, you may have a very difficult time being able to do balance both. Now, herein lies the problem. This is why a lot of modern relationships fail. Men enter into these modern relationships, still with their visions, their goals of perhaps being an author or inventing something or building their own business empire, they're coming to a relationship with these things and they think that a woman is going to help them achieve those goals. The truth is it, it, modern relationships don't work like that. Some women will. Some women are very old-fashioned in their thinking. And I'm not saying those women are wrong. I'm not saying the women that aren't old-fashioned in their thinking are wrong either. But unfortunately, if, if a woman is not old-fashioned in her thinking, if she's modern in her thinking, she will not give you the time that you would have had in the past to fulfill those goals. Not in, a, in some way you can incorporate her into those goals. For instance, building a business empire, you would have to build the business empire with her and you'd have to do it together. You would have to run that business and work that business together. Now, some men don't want to do that. Some men want to be in control of how the business goes and they have their own view. And having their wife involved in the in the running of the business, or, or, or in, in the business with them as directors, can be quite difficult. But the problem is, is if men do not incorporate their wives into their goals to some degree, they will end up losing their wives. Because their wives will say, well, I'm not getting the time and the attention that I, I desire in, in, as a modern woman. I'm just being left like my mother was in the, in the 60s or 70s or 80s or whatever. And I'm not happy with that. So you see, then she divorces him and he, he doesn't know what's hit him. It's like a, a, a fast freight train has driven into him. He, he, he didn't see it coming. 
because he's crossed the threshold. What I mean by the threshold is the threshold is where a man ignores a woman to do his, um, follow his goals, go into his den, invent his, his thing. And the, he does that so much that the woman feels neglected and she just wants to divorce him. And then he's crossed the threshold, if you see what I mean. He's crossed that threshold. So this is why uh, a lot of modern relationships break down and they go haywire. And this is why women initiate 70% of the divorces. Because men still think they can pursue their goals and achieve their goals and still be happily married with the 2.4 children. And the thing is, it doesn't happen that way these days. It can, in very rare circumstances, it can. Now, some people might say watching this video, well, hold on a minute, John. Isn't being happily married and staying happily married to the same woman and having children and seeing them well raised, isn't that an achievement of greatness on its own? Well, yes, it is. It is a form of, of greatness. It is a form of a man becoming great. The thing is, not all men just want to be great because of uh, being happily married to the, the same woman for so long and also raising great kids. They don't always just want to be seen as great for that. Some men don't want children at all. And that's their choice. That's what they want out of life or don't want out of life. So you see, men don't see greatness in the same way women do. A woman would see greatness as having a really great relationship and having really great children. That's one way women tend to see greatness. Men don't see greatness like that. Men see greatness as inventing something major, making a name for himself, being uh, doing something really good in society and for society. But in order to get that kind of greatness, you have to invest a lot of time and a lot of energy. And given to the fact that most men aren't very good at time management these days, it becomes more and more difficult. But even somebody who's very excellent at time management will not necessarily be able to manage his time in a way that meets all his wife's needs and also causes him to be able to meet his goals and his, 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 his ideas for greatness that would impact the world and make a name for himself. See, a lot of married men don't have a name for themselves in the world. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm not saying that they're not great men. They are great men because the, the part of being great is having a successful marriage and having uh, raising uh, good kids. That, that is a way to be successful. So I'm not saying because these men don't have a name for themselves in the world that they are not as good as the men that have got a name for themselves in the world. I'm saying they've taken a different path. But some men who want to create a name for themselves or want to do something great in the world or, or not necessarily to create a name for themselves but to, to make an impact in society, to, to help other people who need, who need help and um, to give them something to help them or to build empires or to make things great, to build things. I know that, that many men have it in their hearts to build. Men have always been builders, they've always been creators, they've always been inventors. I'm not saying women can't do these things, but men have always inherently had these sort of skill sets. And I mean, they've got the body for it, haven't they? To build and, and manufacture and design and so on and so forth. But if a man gets too trapped in that way, and he also wants to have a successful relationship with a woman and raise successful children, he's going to be like an elastic band that stretches and stretches and stretches and stretches and stretches, and then back, it, it, it all collapses, yeah? Don't be that elastic band. I'm talking to men now. Don't Men, don't be that elastic band that stretches and stretches and stretches and stretches and slaps back. In my opinion, there are only two types of men. Men that want to be great with women and children and men that want to be great outside of being with women and children who want to build up great uh, empires. There are a few men that fall in between that want to have a great relationship, want to have uh, to great children and also achieve uh, their dreams outside of that. But in order for these men to do that, they have to incorporate their wives into their goals. They must incorporate their wives into the things that they're doing so that their wives don't feel neglected and they don't feel that, oh, he's back in his den again and um, he's working on his project and I feel neglected. I'm stuck here with the kids. I understand. See, sometimes men and women want different things from relationships. Women want love. They want engagement. 
They want um, to know that the person they're with is, is fully intimate with them. That's what women want. Men, on the other hand, don't necessarily always want those things. I'm not saying that it don't benefit them to have it. It may well benefit those men to have that. But they don't always want it. In other words, a man would be perfectly happy without too much intimacy with him. He wants a bit of intimacy with his wife. But without too much intimacy, without too much engagement, uh, men are, are very sort of practical and they're not, they're not really relational beings. It doesn't mean that they don't love women, but the way they love women is more in the practical, in the doing things. You, men love differently from the way women do. But because women think to themselves we love in this way, women tend to get very proud and they think, well, this is the only, our way to love is the only way to love, therefore men don't love. But men do love, men do love women, but they, they do it in different ways. They don't do always do it in the way women want them to love, be loved. So women want a certain love, but men give them a certain other love. So men, part of a relationship is men learning how to love women in the way they want to be loved, and vice versa. That's part of a relationship, but that takes a lot of time and a lot of energy which often, you know, is not, is not had. So anyway, that's, that's my number one reason why modern relationship wishes its fail in this day and age. Thank you for watching.